Hi you all, and welcome to my channel, Overcoming Gluttony. My name is Alicia, and I used to weigh 327 pounds. I currently weigh 267 pounds, and I've kept this weight off since July of 2020, and it's currently March of 2023. Um, on my channel, I vlog daily, plus every week I show you what I've meal prepped, all the food that I have in my household, and I do mean all of the food that I have in my household, and I show you the junk food that I've eaten while I was out and about, plus we grow microgreens together. So today, I would like to chit chat with you all about achieving greatness. Achieving greatness. So in this world, at least in American culture, it seems to be that having a lot of money and fame is celebrated. Even though it's common for people who have a lot of money and fame to kill themselves. They commit suicide. Think about celebrities who we may see on billboards or shirts or whatever. Are their lives happy? Why are so many of them overdosing on drugs? But yet, our society attributes to them as being something great, phenomenal, something to be celebrated. Well, for us, we can look on a different plane. We can have a different type of a perspective. We can achieve greatness by obeying God's will submitting to his plan for our lives and doing right. If you're here watching me now on this channel, chances are you have an area where you're not submitting to God's will or at least you're trying to get back on course. You are in the process of achieving greatness you are so the next time you see some tabloid or billboard celebrating someone who really isn't worthy of our acknowledgement or praise I'm not saying we shouldn't give them respect and be courteous but as far as being celebrated, hmm. but you submitting to God's will and getting on course with your health is most definitely achieving greatness. And you should be celebrated. So go ahead and celebrate yourself. And let's not have a begrudging attitude as we pass by those donut shops, as we say no to the wedding cake. That might be a little extreme, but you know what I mean? You get what I'm saying, right? Let's see ourselves for being the fantastic human beings that we are. People who despite the obstacles and challenges that are getting on track with God's will. Yay! Okay, so I would like to report to you that I have been successful with meeting my 2023 health goals. I did walk for an hour this morning before work and my breakfast did consist of um, 60 ounces of water plus four servings of raw vegetables. And I'm completing my health goals 97% of the time. Hooray, we're in March and I'm still doing it. So yeah, I would like to read to you a poem that I wrote. It's called Soaring 
above the storm. Soaring above the storm. With your power, I take flight. Letting go of anxieties and anything that might weigh me down or cause me to stray. I've got to make it to heaven. Your guidance I'll obey. I love you, Lord. You cause me to shine. The pressures of this world I'll gladly leave behind. Too many things attempt to have me twisted and torn. My spirit will be at ease for a comforter you have sworn. I will seek after your beauty and live in a state of peace. Your sacrifice has freed me from the raging beast. Soaring above the storm. Thank you all so much for your time. I will see you tomorrow. And we got a weigh-in Wednesday coming up. You're going to hear about... Um, on this next way on Wednesday, you're gonna hear about, you know, the bad food I've eaten and you'll see whether or not I've turned around. <laughs> Let's see if I took off some of those pounds that I gained last week. So thank you for your time, bye.